Good morning to the honorable judges. We are with teachers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you for lending me your ears. Today, I would like to tell you a story entitled The Golden Touch. King Mitas was powerful, yet greedy man. He spent his days counting his gold and at night he dreamed of great riches. No matter how much gold he received, it was never enough. He met a satyr, half man, half gold. The satyr was lost, so King Mitas gave him some food and directed him back to the right path. The satyr was very grateful to King Midas for his assistance. He wanted to reward Midas by granting him one wish. King Midas thought long and hard. How could one wish fulfill his many wants? In fact, King Midas felt a little cheated because he knew three wishes was the standard reward. He was just about to voice this sentiment to the settle, when suddenly he had a brilliant idea. Faces of money, wealth, and treasure filled his mind. Gold, shouted the king. Oh, and everything that I touch turned into gold, said the king. Oh, I don't think that is a good idea. You should reconsider your request, said the settle. But King Mida insisted. And the shadow granted the wish. He could not wait to test out his new gift. He reached down and picked up a rock. As his eyes widened in disbelief, the rock became solid gold. The king was thrilled and began touching everything in his sight. Grass, leaves, acorns, flowers and tree branches. Oh, the golden touch! Yay! He thought. He raced to the forest. He was very happy. He could be the richest man in the world. Back at the castle, the king demanded a short celebration feast. He wanted meats, scissors, bread, and fruits. Nothing but the best would do for the king now that he was going to be rich. As he sat down to eat, the chair turned into gold at his touch. He reached for a drink and the cup turned into a golden goblet in his hand. King Midas went to take a sip of water and suddenly took the lump of gold. He grabbed a piece of bread, peeked into it. Hmm, it too turned into gold. Oh no, cried the king. I will starve to death. At her father's cries, the king's younger daughter rushed to console her father. As she wrapped her arms around her father, she quickly turned into a golden statue. Sobbing, Midas fell to his knees and begged to the gods to set him free from his foolish wish. His tears became tiny golden marbles as he cried, I have learned my lesson. My wish was foolish and I have been punished for it.